So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code your injectors on a PX Ford Ranger using a $30 interface and Forescan. So I've already made another video on how to connect your PCM to a computer using an interface and Forescan in previous videos, so I'm not going to go through the uh, steps again. But for this process, you will need a license. So you can buy that online on the Forescan website, um, or you can use the trial version which is this one here. Um, so that's free of charge for two months. So you can use either or to buy it. I think it's about 15 bucks. Um, I'm just gonna be using the, uh, the free version on this one just for demonstration purposes. And let's get cracking. So first thing you wanna do is download that and open it up. So if you're getting the licensed version, it's gonna ask you for a hardware ID. Um, the easiest way to get that is just to click open your free version of Forescan click down here on the question mark and that's going to be the ID that you need there so you want to punch that in to the uh, screen where it says hardware ID and go forward with that so as you can see here I'm going forward with the uh, two month trial and I've just put my hardware ID down the bottom there you just got to fill the rest of it out like your name your contact email and stuff like that then click submit so as you can see here it's now sent me my license to my email and all you have to do next is just basically put the license code into the Forescan program and you've got the full version so once you've received your license through the email all you've got to do now is just click on load license key now I saved mine in program files so basically I've just got to click on this tab here and find program files and there it is for scan license key click on that click OK and it's saying these changes will be applied to restart the application and I said and you just click on yes and now you have got the full version of Forescan. Also, I do have a video already on my channel on how to change your injectors. So I just might throw that link in a video right now. So once you've put your license key into Forescan and Forescan is all open and ready to go, your next step is gonna be to uh, grab the codes off your injectors. Now, the easiest way to do this is basically, as I've drawn a diagram here, you've got your cylinders, one, two, three, four. This being the fan and this being the gearbox. So basically our first injector is gonna be this one here. And the way how you grab that code is there's a six digit uh, code on the top of the injectors, um, which I don't know if you'll see that. But yeah, anyway, I'll try to throw a photo in there. But anyway, the injectors have a six digit code on the bottom of it. And that's the code that you want to get for each injector, starting obviously with the first one closest to the fan and working back towards the gearbox. So once you've got those codes written down, which I have here, next step is to load them into the PCM, which I'm gonna show you. So with Forescan booted up, next thing you wanna do is just click on that little spanner tab there. And you wanna to go to change fuel injector correction factors. Hopefully you can see that. So you just click on that. And then you want to click down here to the play button. And right now it's going to ask me, fuel injector correction factors will be changed within the service procedure. Perform the service function if new fuel injectors have been installed. Each injector has an individual digit code called an injector correction factor. The code applies individual compensation to each injector as a means of reducing fuel delivery tolerances. The injector correction factor is six digits. Do not continue unless you are sure you can find the data. Please make sure to follow the initial conditions are met. Vehicle is not moving. Yeah, it's definitely not moving. So right now you can just click OK on that. And now it's saying to put it in the HS can position, which is down here. And you want to click OK. So as you can see, this is the area where you input the codes that I have written down. 
So once you've put all your codes that you got written down into each cylinder, which is clearly shown in the program there, you've got your fan, then you've got your gearbox, cylinder one, two, three, four, and then you've got exactly how I got it written down here, which is cylinder one, two, three, four. Uh, the next thing you do is you basically just click on save all data to ECU and then it's going to ask you injector data are the same are you sure and you just click yes and it says please turn off ignition then click OK turn your ignition off rather then click OK and then it says Injectors coded successfully. And you just basically click OK. And you are done. Here we go. Service procedure completed successfully. So guys, as you can see, pretty straightforward with these cars to code the injectors using Forescan. Um, I know, you know, some of these might think that it's a bit of a complicated procedure, but as long as you know, you know how to set up the software how to uh, find the codes and how to input the data. It's a very, very, very sort of straightforward procedure that anyone with sort of a little bit of computer knowledge can do themselves. As you can see, if I wasn't filming, it probably would have taken me no more than sort of five minutes to do it. And yeah, hopefully this video has helped you out in some way. So if you have found this video informative, make sure you hit that like button so other Ford Ranger owners can find it and help them work on their own vehicles without having to go to a dealer and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for procedures which you can basically do yourself and with a laptop. We all know that learning, growth and reward come through things like perseverance, struggle and effort. Life itself is a struggle. But further to that, when we choose a life of comfort, there's a moral cost. Others are paying the price. When we choose to walk by those that are suffering, when we choose to overlook those who are struggling, it's they that suffer. They that continue to struggle. If we're getting something for free, for example, somebody else is paying. Instead, I want to challenge us to see the great reward in helping others out. Somebody's finding it hard getting beside them. Somebody's going without. We were generous. If somebody is sad, we sit beside them. We're sad with them. It's a tough choice. It's laying aside our own comfort. But when we do that, we are blessed. We make the world a better place. For ourselves and for others. Choosing a life of challenge, of struggle, a tough life can be the most satisfying life. Whereas choosing a life of comfort, well, that's not a bad thing in itself to seek to be comfortable. We're missing out on all there is to offer. We're also not giving ourselves a chance to make the biggest difference. Here at Haven, three ways you can start to get to know us and get involved. We encourage you to do that. First of all, you're here on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Maybe leave us a comment. Make yourself known. Second, join us on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Love to get to know you and your opinions on things. And finally, join us in a Zoom call. Once you've got to know us, we've got Zoom calls Tuesday nights, Thursday nights. Happy to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation too. If you have anything you'd like to discuss, any questions for us, always happy to answer them. Until next time, hope you're having a great week 
and sometimes a great week is not always an easy week, is it? Look forward to seeing you next time.